everybody! Happy Wednesday! I just got back from gallivanting. I know, but I realized a couple nights ago that we don't have Tylenol. We don't. We don't have Tylenol. So I went to Walmart because I knew today was stocking day and they actually had a bottle of acetaminophen, which is great because that's Tylenol. It's just generic. And I was so grateful. And there were only a few bottles. All the name brand Tylenol, except for Tylenol PM, it was all gone. And they had plenty of Advil and stuff, but Tylenol is what you really want because it helps reduce your fevers better, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So, and then after that, I went to the Dollar Tree. And so, I'll show you what I found. I was actually able to find some of these disinfecting wipes. They had like six bottles left. So I grabbed two and I'm thinking about maybe putting these in the car. One for Daryl's car, one for my car. So that I can wipe it down. But you know, I don't know. That's probably what I'm going to do. Because I did make my own wipes yesterday. Of course they're not 99.9% but um, they will just clean the poop off my toilet. Here's what I got at Walmart really quick. And I wiped all of this down with um, Clorox. So here's the pain reliever that I got. Extra strength, acetaminophen, and you get 500 caplets. And this was like $6 and something cents. I needed some um, socks to wear with my tennis shoes that were not low not like visible like these are no show so I ended up getting this pair and or this I don't know how many pairs do you get in here six pairs and these were um, seven dollars or nine dollars I don't remember I threw away my receipt already I don't want to dig it out so anyway that's all at Walmart so I got these at Dollar Tree and they actually had soap today and they had some of this um, soft soap antibacterial so I went ahead and got it I've heard that antibacterial soap isn't really that I mean regular soap is just as good I heard that on TV like from a doctor or something but like I said I could be wrong I don't know so I just went ahead and got it because it says antibacterial so I got it I just did I got some more Ultra Shine dishwasher tabs because I'm washing dishes like all the time now since I'm cooking like all the time now. I needed some more of these um, picks. I usually get placards, but I decided to get the close up ones to see how I liked them. I'm sure they're just groovy. And then I got these for our cars. I got these before I saw the wipes, but anyway, these are multi-purpose wipes for the car, and there is alcohol in here. There's um, propylene glycol and then ethyl alcohol, so I went ahead and got those. I mean, I'm, there's probably not a lot of alcohol, but so I got each car some of these to wipe down with as well. And then I got these thinking, I didn't realize they were lunch, lunch things. I didn't realize they were divided in half. I just thought they were all just one thing. Because so I was going to make some Pine Sol wipes because look, I found the very last bottle of Pine Sol at Dollar Tree. And this one is the one that kills 99.9 .9 germs. I think only the original Pine Sol does that. The other scented ones, I, I've heard that they do, but they don't say it on the label. And so, and then I've heard other people say, no, only the original. Online, it doesn't talk about, you know, the scented ones killing 99.9 .9 specifically. So I didn't know what to believe or what to think. So anyway, I saw this and I grabbed it right away. So I was going to make just like, a few little wipes at a time to clean the toilets with and whatever. And I was going to put the little paper towels in here, but oh well. 
And then I bought this eyeglass cleaner because I knew it had alcohol in it too. And I was like, oh, maybe I should get this and clean with this. I mean, there's not a lot of alcohol, I'm sure. But anyway, we do have a lot of readers in the house and they get filthy. So these will be good to clean our readers with at least. At least get the fingerprints off. I needed some more of the cotton rounds. So I grabbed two of those. And then I grabbed one more of these containers in case I want to make more wipes because I have that other roll of of paper towels in the cupboard so anyway that's what I got today and over here I just heated up my leftover tater tot casserole from a couple nights ago so it should be ready to go it's probably cold by now oh boy here comes little beggar butt no 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 it's not for you you cannot have any. This tastes really good. It tastes a lot better than it did when I first made it because all the flavors have married. There's just a little tiny bit in here. And I thought, well, that'll be a, the perfect size lunch. So I saved it. Mm. It's good. So I'm on my bed. White grape juice. Welch's white grape juice. So when I went to Walmart today, it was about 10.30, hardly anyone was there. And I know that today's our stocking day where I live. They still had toilet paper, which I didn't get because I don't need toilet paper. I did pick up an extra pack, like a six pack of paper towels. It's either a six pack or a four pack, just because I use those a lot to clean with lately. And they didn't have any cleaning stuff. Exquisite me! <laughs> So, anyway, I didn't work this morning because I, I logged on and there is nothing for me. I transcribe sales calls. And so I got dressed and went out, and now here I am. It is so hot today. It's going to be 70 degrees. I don't know, here I am wearing a sweatshirt and jeans, my jeggings. Oh well. I'm gonna finish my lunch. All right, I made my soup. I couldn't vlog it because I was trying to mess around with uploading my live video that I did. So here it is in the pot. I just used a can of chicken broth and then I used this better than bouillon since I didn't have the cubes. This is the paste. So I used two tablespoons of this and I added four more cups of water. And then I just added some celery, onions, and carrots and the leftover chicken that came in the pouch. And yeah, that's it. I'll show you what chicken. I have another one. If I can find it. Oh. It's this chicken right here. So it's already cooked and shredded and it's really good. So anyway, that's what's in there. And my husband doesn't like broth. So he just likes all the chunks. And so I probably shouldn't have made so much broth. I will say though, the chicken kind of got chewy in this. I don't understand why. Maybe because I it got cooked again. 
while in the soup and it got it got chewy I don't know but I'm kind of disappointed the soup tastes really good but the chicken's really chewy like really chewy it's not boingy it's just chewy so anyway then we're just gonna have some some bread and butter and I also used these noodles. These are just what was in my pantry, the country pasta. So they're homemade egg style pasta. They're really good. And these were just dry. And they were just in with the pasta on the shelf. It's really good. The chicken's not as chewy anymore. I don't know what the dealio was with that. Mmm. Good old bread and butter. Daryl's actually eating his with a fork because he has no broth. This is really good. I'm glad I made it. And I just used the shredded carrot, the shredded carrots that I had. So I didn't have time to slice all the little ones. Perfect. I made a soup in like a half hour. Mm -hmm. After this, I'm gonna go walking. Hey everybody, happy Thursday. It's almost five o'clock. I just ate my dinner last night, went for my walk and that was the end of that. I never finished up my vlog. So, anywho, I've been keeping busy today. I put my makeup on. I look so, I still look like poop. Ew. Um, I cleaned all my bathrooms, and those wipes that I made with Pine Sol are amazing. Um, let's see here. I just used... You know, the pine salt from the other day. But I used a whole bunch in all my bathrooms and they worked out great. They worked out great. And even though, like, here's a little dry patch, it's still, it's not dry, it's actually damp. And it's not bad that there are little white patches that didn't get fully saturated because they are still moist moist and they work just fine and the paper towels i used are strong and they're amazing why would i ever want to buy those again when i can make my own granted i used the pine saw that i don't think is fights kills bacteria but that's okay i don't care my bathrooms are clean. It is what it is. Um, and then I've been doing laundry all day. Um, I changed the sheets. And I've been watching TV. And I talked to Tyler on the Marco Polo. And... I'm supposed to be going for a walk at 5.30 with my friend up the street, but it just, the weather turned and it's really cloudy now and it just started sprinkling. It was, it's supposed to kind of rain around 5.30ish and so I don't really know if we're going to still go or not. I haven't talked to her, but we'll see. Oh, and I also put all my shoes, all my winter shoes away. I put them in their boxes. I put them away. Took down my summer shoes, like some sandals that I usually wear. And put them under, on the floor, under my clothes for summer. And that's about it. Yep, that's about it. <clears throat> 
it's been, it was hot and stuffy earlier, and so, because I was cleaning, and I opened my kitchen window, and that was nice, and I had the fans going, the ceiling fans. But then it started getting cold, and so I turned them all off, and now I'm getting stuffy again. So I think I'll turn my ceiling fans on again. But, <sighs> anyway, what are you doing? She's standing at the door like I'm going to let her go out? I don't think so. She's strictly indoor. Oh. Oh. Strictly indoor. I've got so much cat hair on me. If I do go, oh, excuse me, if I do go walking, I need to roll her myself down. Huh, mama? Oh. Anywho. That's it. I don't think I have plans for dinner because I was going to go walking. So Daryl's just going to have the pasta salad that I bought him from the store the other day. He needs to eat it fast because, I mean, it, it expires today, but, you know, it's just pasta salad. It'll still last. So he needs to have that, which looks like this. It's very yummy. It's the Tuscan pasta salad from Harmon's. And then I've been nibbling on my ambrosia salad, but I haven't been chowing on it like I normally do. And then last night I tried my fruit dip from Harmon's and it was really good. Let me show you. Um, I've got cat hair flying at my face. I totally dusted and vacuumed the day before yesterday and mopped. So I shouldn't be having like dust dust. No! I don't know what this is. It's like cream cheese. It's called vanilla cream cheese. But it tastes, it's really runny. No mama, you'll get sick. It's really runny. And it's got some other type of flavor in there that I can't pinpoint. So here's half a banana. I was dipping the banana in it and I had an apple slice in it last night. Mmm. Trying to think. Maybe it kind of tastes like pineapple and mar maraschino cherries or something. All I know is that it's good. It's really runny though, but, but yummy. This would be so good with grapes, like green grapes. Mm -mm. Or just with a spoon, I could just eat it. with a spoon. Nobody else is eating this dip but me. I know where my fingers have been. So I can do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can double dip my finger wherever and whenever I want. And for my lunch today, I had some of this Rico's refried beans that I got last week and the rice. It was so yummy. I need to eat this like on a tostada. The black beans that I, these are, the black beans are like from a week and a half ago maybe. I think they're gonna bite the dust, so yeah. I'll probably have to chuck them. Oh, here's the rest of my bread pudding. It is so good, I'm gonna have that tonight. And yeah. And then for my dinner tonight, I'm gonna have the, not the rest of it, cause I can't eat all, but I'm gonna have some chicken soup that I made last night. I bet it tastes even better today. Let's just see. The noodles got a little fatter from absorbing the broth. Mmm, it's amazing. Yep. So this is what I'm having for dinner. 
So my friend um, just texted me up the street. And we decided not to go walking tonight because it's a little nipply. And it did rain. It stopped raining. But the wind is kind of blowing and it's chilly on our willy. So we're going to do it tomorrow. That'll be fun. So I can just eat with Daryl. But I'm still going to have him have his pasta salad and he'll probably just have chips, pasta salad, and maybe some pepperoni. <laughs> um, he won't want a sandwich. I could totally make him a grilled cheese sandwich or a turkey sandwich, but he won't want a sandwich. He just likes to eat his pasta salad with pepperoni and chips. And plus, I've got to eat that chicken noodle soup. I don't want to have to throw most of it away. And he won't eat leftover chicken noodle soup. So. It is what it is. And I feel like so poopy about my live feed. Did I tell you? Was I, Did I even talk about that today? I felt so upset that it... I... It uploaded. And you all saw it online. And you were commenting on it. But my phone was still trying, it was stuck, it was frozen, and it would say waiting while it was trying to upload. And it wouldn't stop, it just froze on this upload thing for hours. And then I went outside and went for a walk and realized, oh my gosh, I came home and Daryl's like, you probably used up a lot of your data trying to upload a video on your walk outside the home, you know, outside the wireless internet. And I was like, oh man. So I had to delete it. And sure enough, it deleted the actual video off of YouTube. I was so upset because it was a fun video. It was funny. We all had a great time. Tyler was on. I had lots of old friends. My friend Lauren, her, her screen name's Lala. She's pregnant, or she had a baby girl three months ago. Her, she named her Lola. That just stole my heart. We, I had so many people that I was talking with, and it was so fun. It was just like a little mini party, and it had to get deleted. I don't know what happened to my phone, why it did that. It doesn't happen to anybody else but me. <laughs> and I think for sure I want to make some cookies. I'm going to make some of these for sure tonight. Daryl will be so happy. I guess I better grab a butter to thaw so it won't be so hard to mix. These Betty Crocker oatmeal chocolate chip mixes are the best ones. Um, they have snickerdoodle ones that are super yummy too. And then they have chocolate chip ones, which are so-so. The oatmeal chocolate chip trumps the regular chocolate chip. But yeah, these are so amazing. Oh, I love them so much. And they taste just like homemade, yo. And then speaking of cookies, remember these? These are the Thinster Meyer Lemon cookies that I got from Sam's Club a few weeks back. Okay, they looked really good, right? Well, this is what they really look like. I thought they would be a, a lot bigger than this, but they're just a little coin size, a little bit bigger than a quarter. But they are good. GMO free. They're really buttery. Six cookies for 140 calories. They're really good, but you can see I've hardly eaten any. These would be good in that fruit dip. Looks like the sun is coming back out. Uh, kind of, not really. Um, so I guess I'll hibernate back into my room. 
<laughs> with the mama. So I've been having really dry hands lately from all the scrubbing and washing and sanitizing and bleaching. And this Dove hand cream, it's intensive cream from the Dollar Tree, is amazing. I love it. It feels so good. And it smells nice too. And I have another one that I use for my feet. And then I put socks on. Um, I put my lotion on my feet and then I put my socks on and sleep with my socks on. But, and I happen to have that extra one. So I've been using that for my hands and I love it. But I've hit pan. I've hit pan on both of them. I need to go get more. Hold on. See? Mmm. Smells so good. Um, Tyler asked yesterday on the live feed, what's a good lotion? For his dry hands and I said this and I sent him some a long time ago if he still has it he needs to use it because it's amazing I need to get more and then if you can't find it at the Dollar Tree I know Walmart does have it um, if they're a little bit bigger maybe and a little bit more money but it's worth it these are so nice I've never tried the pink ones the cream for you the beauty cream so I'm assuming that's for your face but that, that would probably work out good too. Anywho. So that's that. Momo, you just had your dinner. You get second dinner later. enough for one more bowl for tomorrow. Leftovers, but it's super duper duper good. Meow. It's super duper good. <laughs> I'm gonna make some cookies tonight, baby.
time to make the cookies. <coughs> Bless you. Oh. <laughs> You're filming all this? Uh -huh. The cookies are done. It made two dozen, but Daryl and I have eaten some. I like to make them on the smaller side so that you get more Otherwise, you'll get about a dozen and a half if you make them a little bigger. But they are just amazing. I just love them. It's closing time, everybody. Come on in, Mama. Come on in. Mama, hi. Hey, Moo Moo. Oh, little one. Stinky bomb, little one, stinky bomb. Okay, you can come in later. Hey everybody, welcome to closet time. I just got out of the shower. I got my power. And now I'm ready to do closet hour. <laughs> um, man. I'm looking mighty nasty in this light. I need it to be like that. Oh well, you can't have everything. So those cookies are super yummy and there's still a whole bunch left. I had two and I think Daryl had two or three and there's a whole bunch left. And you know what's so yummy is when you put them in the freezer. Just put them in a baggie, put them in the freezer, and they are so good when you eat them frozen. I'm gonna sneeze. I guess it went away. Anyway, so that's the end of that. Um, I'm watching the end of Dead Files, which I haven't watched all night long because I was in the shower. And then at 11 or 10 will be Ghost Adventures. It was on at 7, the new one. And it won't be on again until 10 or 11, I think. So 
I got a long ways to go. I have to watch it because that's just what I do. I'm all about the ghost to sees. And when I was doing my live chat the other day, we were talking about how I had a couple little ghost experiences last, not this past October, but the October before. And um, I said I would talk about it in a separate video, so I will. Maybe around Halloween-ish right now. I don't feel like it. I'm tired. So maybe around Halloween-ish I'll talk about it. But it wasn't anything major. There were just a couple, two little three, three things. It wasn't anything too major. And it was kind of fun. in there. Lola used to look in there too, right at that spot. Is it a portal? Is it a portal to the cat world? Huh? Is it the feral world? I love you. Yes, I do. I need a baby. Okay. And we're back. Oh, she, this is the first time I sang to her in the closet since Lola Bell's been gone. Huh. I used to always sing to Lola. <laughs> and now I sing to the Momo. Oh, she's just standing here getting some love, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Oh boy. Oh boy. He's getting the love. So anywho, whatever I was saying, that's what I was saying. Mm. I'll talk about I'll talk about my scary story around Halloween time. But anywho, I think I'm gonna skedaddle. I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll probably have a little more work to do in the morning because it seems like um, the salespeople. They make phone calls still, and there's this one guy who leaves like 10, 15, 20 minute long reports, and he's a fast one, and so, you know, it takes longer than 10, 15, 20 minutes to type. It takes more like two hours, so we'll see. Maybe I won't have anything tomorrow. I don't really know, but anyway. I type sales, I transcribe sales calls. I say that, I explain that every time I talk about my work because if I don't, somebody usually asks me what I do. So that's all. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for hanging out with me in the past couple days. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful slippy. And we'll see you next time. Come out, everybody. I know where my fingers have been. I can double dip my